This lesson is about intra-two binomial distribution. A non-fair coin is a test of five times, with the, the probability of uh, getting has being 0 0.6. Find the probability that a all has turned up. We already learned how to do question a. The probability of uh, getting had uh, for the first uh, time is uh, 0 0.6. Second time, 0 0.6. Third time, 0 0.6. Fourth time, 0 0.6. Fifth time, 0 0.6. Equals 0 0.6 to the fifth power. Equals 0 0.0778. B. Exactly 3 has turned up. In the previous uh, lessons, we didn't learn uh, how to figure out uh, this uh, probability. This is the new content called uh, binomial distributions. Binomial distributions. There are only two outcomes, success uh, or failure, in an experiment or survey that is uh, repeated uh, multiple times. In this event, we only have two outcomes, head or tail. Second, the number of observations of trials is fixed. In this question, the coin is tested five times. So the number of trials is fixed. Each observation or trial is uh, independent. The probability of uh, success is the same uh, from one trial to another. In this question, each time when the coin is uh, touched, the probability of uh, getting has up uh, is always uh, 0 0.6. On the contrary, the event without uh, replacement uh, are not binomial distribution because, uh, because the probability of uh, success uh, is uh, different from uh, one trial to another. Binomial distribution, capital X uh, follows binomial distribution with uh, n the number of uh, trials. P is the probability of uh, desired outcome or the probability of uh, success. The mean of uh, binomial distribution is uh, n times uh, probability. Variance equals uh, n times p times uh, 1 minus p. Binomial PDF means a binomial probability density function. In calculator, we need to type in number of trials, probability of desired outcome, and x value for this binomial PDF. So let's go back to this B. We want to figure out the probability getting exactly three has uh, turned up. First of all, probability is a binomial distribution. X follows binomial distribution with the number of uh, trials five. Probability of uh, getting has up uh, 0 0.6. We are looking for probability of x equals 3 equals. We will put a 5, 0 0.6, and a 3 into our calculator. So use a scratch pad. Go to menu, 5, probability, 5, distribution. Press this A binomial PDF, 5, 
zero point six three. Then enter. Answer is a zero point three four six as a three six fix. C find the mean. We know x follows binomial distribution. Five. 0 0.6. Since this is a binomial distribution, we will use this uh, formula. E of x equals n times p, which is 5 times uh, 0 0.6, equals uh, 3. D. Find the variance. This is the formula for variance. Equals 5 times 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.6 equals 1.2. Standard deviation equals square root of variance equals square root 1.2, 1.10. Question 2. The probability of John passing the test is 0 0.7. John will take 10 tests in this semester. Find the probability that John will pass 6 tests. Obviously, this is a binomial distribution. There are two outcomes. Either John will pass the test or John will fail the test. For this binomial distribution, this n is uh, the number of uh, trials. This p is the probability of uh, desired uh, outcomes. For a, John will pass uh, six tests, which means uh, n equals uh, 10. This p equals uh, 0 0.7. And this x follows binomial distribution 10, 0 0.7. We are looking for probability of x equals 6. Go to menu 5, 5, 8, 10, 0 0.7, 6. Enter zero point two zero zero at the three sig fix. B John will fail two tests. Keywords is a fail. N is a ten. The probability of failing the test is one minus zero point. 7 equals 0 0.3. And uh, x follows binomial distribution with uh, 10, 0 0.3. p of x equals 2 equals, go to calculator, menu 5, 5, 8. 10. P is 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.7. 2. Enter. 0 0.233. Let's go to C. Calculate the expected number, the variance, and the standard deviation that John will fill the test. Keywords. Fill the test. N equals 10. P equals 1 minus 0 0.7 equals 0 0.3. We will use these two formulas to figure out expected number, the variance, and the standard deviation. E of x equals 10 times 0 0.3 equals 3. Variance equals 10 times 0 0.3 times 
what minus 0 0.3 equals 2.1 then standard deviation equals square root of 2.1 equals 